Paramahamsa Nityananda, a compelling spiritual force of our millennium, founder of an international socio-spiritual movement, pioneer of a modern Vedic Renaissance. Born in the sacred town of Tiruvannamalai, a yogi by birth, fearless spiritual explorer, beacon of divine power, Paramahamsa Nityananda is today an inspiration for millions on the path. Adept in ancient mystical yogic sciences, researcher of the science of spirituality, guru for enlightenment. Every year, Paramahamsa Nityananda shares with over one crore people worldwide the treasures of his wisdom, the joy of his laughter, and the incomparable power of his initiation. Now, Paramahamsa Nityananda reveals the deeper secrets of life, signs of life. Join us every day for an unforgettable spiritual experience. ಪ್ರಜೇತೇಶವ ಒನ್ ಹೂ ಇಸ್ ಎಂಡೌಡ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಪವರ್ ಆಫ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಅಂಡ್ ಶಿವ that's a translation of the word keshava what is the definition of the one who abides in intense unclutching and who de- dwells in the state of eternal bliss what does the one who desists from fancy speak how does he exist how does he withdraw ಸ್ಥಿತಪ್ರಜೇತೇತೇತೇಶನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಒನ್ ಹೂ ಅಬೈಡ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಇಂಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ಕ್ಲಚಿಂಗ್ ಅನ್ ಹೂ ಡ್ವೆಲ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಟರ್ನಲ್ ಬ್ಲಿಸ್ what does the one who desists from fancy speak how does he exist how does he withdraw funniest thing is he is asking arjuna is asking all these things to krishna he is asking krishna how an enlightened being will be there how a jivan mukta will be there how a stida pragna will be there please tell me unfortunately because of familiarity arjuna is suffering which is called i can give a new word contempt syndrome in english we say familiarity breeds contempt when you are too close when you are able to see him physically always there is a problem people don't have any problem to dedicate their life to masters who left the body 
they are very happy to dedicate their life to the statues but it is very difficult to dedicate the life for the living being because when he is alive when he is radiating bubbling overflowing you only feel jealous seeing his expression you don't feel surrendering the subtle ego of arjuna is still not able to surrender that is why he is asking how an enlightened being will speak you tell me he will take the scale from krishna and tells krishna itself you see you told this is the scale i think you are not fitting with this scale you are talking like this these arjunas unfortunately are more intelligent sometimes even more than krishna they take some answer from you some scale from you some word from you some idea from you and twist bend try to fix as they want but whether you are more intelligent than krishna or not life listens only to krishna life listens to krishna understand this guy is trying to act smart once this happened it's like somebody coming to anesthesia and asking me you are talking so much about the sthita pragna can you tell me how the sthita pragna will walk sit and eat and live one side arjuna is able to believe krishna is knowledgeable person intelligent but unfortunately arjuna is still not able to believe krishna is enlightened being that is the space lot of seekers are stuck most unfortunate space disciples many of them are stuck in that space they all understand i am intelligent because you can't hide it it is seen visibly but still they are not able to feel it is something more than intelligence enlightenment arjuna is caught in contempt doubt syndrome cds the contempt which is brought by the mind because of familiarity the mind is such a foolish mechanism it's like a cow even if it eats two three grass in one acre land it feels it knows the whole land it just grabs two three grass then it feels wow i know this whole land mind is also the same thing it just picks up one or two incidents or one or two scene poor arjuna has seen krishna only for 40 years but he thinks he knows krishna even 40 years it's not that 24 hours he was with him so please understand the mind is a very poor mechanism to measure the depths of enlightened being but it is trying its best by asking different scales here arjuna is asking different scales to krishna to find out whether krishna is enlightened or not welcome to inner awakening the most powerful personal transformation retreat you could ever experience in just 21 days thousands are already experiencing the shortest route to constantly high energy levels visible anti aging 
healing of chronic diseases, fulfilling relationships and higher states of consciousness. What is the secret behind this transformation? Kundalini means the inner potential energy. Once it is awakened, opens the different doors for the conscious experience in you. I can say which is a master key for all extraordinary spiritual experience. This extraordinary program is conducted personally by Paramahamsa Nityananda in the vibrant atmosphere of Nityananda Dhyanapitam Ashram. Open yourself to the benefits of Nitya Yoga and practical meditation. Experience physical and mental healing. Discover simple ways to handle life with success. Above all, enjoy individual darshan and blessings from Paramahamsa Nityananda every day. Take 21 days for yourself and carry home the transformation of a lifetime.